till it's done. I said, all right, fine, okay, whatever. I said, but Robert, uh, you do know that I'm a world champion road racer. It's all I've ever done in my life till I came to stock cars. He said, what? <laughs> I said, it's all I've ever done is road racing. He said, let me call you back. <laughs> <laughs> And he called back a little bit later and said, okay, we're going to give you a shot. Come on, get in the car and go, let's go. And I uh, we went down there and got fitted all up. And I knew most of the guys at the shop anyway, whatever, you know. So I went to the racetrack, went to Watkins Glen, got up there, and he said, all right, look, no pressure. I know it's a high-profile thing. It's a lot of pressure on you, whatever. Just go out on the racetrack. Just don't try to do anything spectacular. He said, I know since you raced here yourself they've got this bus stop thing back there in the back you know we're the straightaways not just a straight down you gotta go through this you gotta slow down go through this thing i said yeah okay i know i know about all that and uh, he said all right going out there and run so i go out there and warm up usually practice lap come in comes up with the car and he said did you go straight through or did you go through the bus stop <laughs> I said, I'm going to do the bus stop. He said, damn, you're about 15th on the chart right off the bat. I said, I'm just taking it easy, just cruising around. I <laughs> just like I just did what you said to do. I was just driving easy. He said, well, okay, all right, all right. We went to work on the car and he did a little stuff and went out. Anyway, it came time to qualify. And uh, I went out and I qualified third or fourth. And... Uh, he said, man, what the heck? And I said, I, said, I still haven't run really hard yet, Robert. <laughs> he said, you got to be kidding me. He said, we had never qualified a top 10 at a road race track before. I said, okay, I'll just do what you do. They dropped the flag. I went to second. Mark was on out there, and I was closing in on him, closing in on him, closing in on him. And Transmission broke. Wow. Pulled off the track. <laughs> and that was the end of that. And uh, so uh, the Ford people were there, and all the people were there, and they, they said, wow. They got pretty excited and started talking about the future and what they wanted to do and all kinds of stuff. And I'm going, Hmm. What the heck is happening here? I don't know about all this. And uh, anyway, the next week we went to Michigan and qualified outside pole. We had a bunch of the race. I don't remember where we finished. Something third, fourth, something like that. And uh, and the following following race we went to uh, Bristol. Bristol. We running really great in practice. Had a shot at the pole. And, went for it and missed missed a little bit <laughs> but then i mean we were really good you know it was really good and wound up getting wrecked in that race i think got getting a wreck with somebody and uh typical bristol <laughs> yeah right 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 so uh anyway after they got about that time uh the deal with ernie and all that got settled and that's what had been going on in the background so getting him out of his contract and getting him in the car so what happened then I remember. Oh yeah, they, they, the Ford guys said, "Look, we don't want to lose, lose you out of the Ford camp. We want to, we want to keep you because I, I had my own Fords that I'd switched from GM to Ford uh, in '83, I guess it was. No, '92. '92. Yeah, started yeah. off the season yeah. in '92 with yeah. the old Oldsmobile stuff. Yeah. Monte Carlo by that point, or whatever the uh, limited yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. GM stuff, and then switched to Ford. Right. Yeah. So uh, anyway, they said, "Look." Uh, we're going to put you in the 15 car. Bodine's bought Kawicki's deal, place, yeah. and he's wanting out. So uh, we'll put you in the 15 car and let you go over there. So that's how I got in Bud Moore's car. Huh. And uh, ran the rest of that year with with the uh, well, just motocraft deal. And then over the winter, they did the Ford Quality Care program. And we got with that. and. That was all ninety four. Ran it all ninety four and ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. That was Melling. Yeah. So at the end of ninety four, I'd run. 
Last half of 93 and all of 94 with Bud, and, uh, uh, we just weren't seeing eye to eye there at the end end of that deal. And, uh, so was you and Bud? Yeah, yeah. Decided I wanted to do something different. And uh, the uh, Mellon thing, Harry called me kind of like... Uh, Kale had? Kind of like Kale had. Help, <laughs> we need rescue and... Uh, come over and run this thing, take care of it. So I went over there and uh, put that thing right, and got it going, and hmm. had several good runs and a few uh, big disappointments with the sponsorship things that threw threw a big curve at us. That Nebraska deal blowing up was a uh, was a real kick in the teeth. Yeah, that Good. was that was yes. everything was on the ascendancy yeah, on that deal. Yeah, and then the Nebraska thing just evaporated. Was that spam? No, so it was after the spam deal. So the spam money wasn't like a huge deal. I mean, obviously everybody knows that the spam thing because it was such an iconic brand, right? And it was the spam man and everything. <laughs> um, but the Nebraska thing, that was some guys here locally in Charlotte, right? Were part of one, one, I thought one I of those guys so. was locally here in Charlotte, something like that. I don't that. think so. I don't think so. There was there were several people involved, but anyway, long story short, it didn't happen. Right. Mm. You know, they made a big promise and made a big. <laughs> he had the show car. The show, we took the show car and they put it on the field at, at their homecoming and all this stuff. And they did a bunch of stuff and lots of souvenirs. I mean, you saw you'll see little, little toys over here. Yeah. I mean, and the car never ran. Never ran. So they made all this stuff and it never, did all never that. actually I mean, It was like the biggest thing that was going to happen that did, didn't. Wow. I mean, literally you had Warren Buffett, you had the CEO of, of Nations Bank or whatever. I guess he was a Nebraska graduate or something. They had all this stuff all together. I mean, literally, like I said, we had a show car painted up at their field in Lincoln, Nebraska on ABC to announce this sponsorship for the next season. And then it evaporated over the winter it between that announcement on their first game of the, mm -hmm. of the season and it must have been 96 yeah 96 is when they announced it come february 97 rolling daytona with the car no sponsor on it yeah. but still ran the first 15 races or so, whatever it was of the season without a sponsor and were the top 15 in points wow and, and had again had to park it. It's like just like the, this thing in '93. It's like you, yeah, you're running, yeah. you're doing good, and it's like it just doesn't just didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Back to the, all those near misses. That's mm -hmm. the whole. That's the yeah. whole story of the careers. It's, it's, it's like oh my gosh. The stock car thing has been a. I looked for a challenge, and it, it was every bit of challenge <laughs> I ever wanted to find. Yeah. It was from one thing to another, but uh, anyway, it's it's been great though. Yeah. 